Hello again. This is Talisman the Herb Beetle with another episode of Revival Survival. And in the previous episode, we discovered this spawner, which is not super useful. We're not going to build any mob spawners or, or try to farm it or anything like that. But I wanted to get in here check out this chest. I don't need gunpowder. It's nice that there's some music in here, but don't need that. I will take the string. So that was a mildly useful bit of treasure. I think the coal was the best stuff that I saw in there. But now what we're going to do is figure out if there is any way through here to like another cave. If not, we're going to need to go up or go back or something. I think we had another route. Ooh not want to do that. Okay, we don't want to mix our stones here, so. Oh, well, let's put on the chain leggings. I'm going to put down table here and we will make a furnace we do need another one we're getting close to running out of uh, axe and I think we kind of want a pickaxe as well replacement pickaxe so I like to organize items on my hotbar into three regions left right and middle The left end is high priority tools, stuff I need in an emergency, like my sword, axe, and bow. I can reach hotkeys on the left end of the keyboard quicker than the hotkeys in the middle or on the right. At least, it's quickest for me. The second quickest for me is to scroll back from slot one to the slots on the right end of my toolbar. Slots nine, eight, seven, and six. So that's where I keep medium priority stuff, torches, food, shovel, and pickaxe. So, things I need frequently are on the right side. Things I need to fight off danger are on the left side. Which reminds me, I should move my bucket to slot 3. I usually keep it in slot 4 and a bow in slot 3, but I don't have arrows for a bow at the moment. Quickest access is over here. Second quickest is going to be in the back here. And then the middle is just usually whatever I'm working with, which is in this case, ladders and stone. Let's get rid of this one piece of stone here. Yeah, 
Yeah, gold instead of redstone. Did not really like that outcome. Okay, so what we're going to do is get back up here and check out that other route. Although it is dangerous. Actually, it sounds like it's getting more dangerous as we speak. on the hot bar instead of blocks. Hold on a moment. Yeah, you're coming for me, but I'm ready for you. He says, I heard what you were saying. Got to get over there. Even if there's a sp spider. Little trick I like to do is when I do dig a tunnel, I like to put the torch up in the top of the tunnel. That's why I dug away a little bit up that position. And the reason I do that, because if I have to s uh, spill my bucket of water for some reason, like to push away a monster or something, I don't want the torches to get washed away by the water. Okay, I was holding up my shield. How is it that you were able to hit me that at, the, the first time, maybe I wasn't quick enough, but I was already holding my shield in position on that second hit. He should not have been able to hurt me. Redstone. But I heard sounds. Okay, that must be on the other side of the wall if it is not my imagination. How much is that? That's four. I'll take some more just in case I ever need it. But. We don't really need much redstone at the moment. Let us make our compass. There. Actually, I should put blocks on the hot bar and we'll, we'll put that over here there we go and now well that's scary okay we're just going to try and get out of here back up to the surface So that we can use our compass to find the main base. And then from there we can reorient ourselves and get back over 
to where we want to go. I mean, if nothing else, if if I've lost anything that was in my original death spot, you know, okay, I can write that off. But I want to, I, I, we started from the main base and we're, or the original base, and we were heading in a particular direction. I want to be able to you know, maintain that to make the bases, you know, like, because eventually we're going to build another base. Or, let's say, not not a base, but... You no, know, we should get some copper while we have a chance as well, because we had copper before, but we probably have lost it. If we ever do find amethyst... And we have the copper so that we can make a spyglass. I would love to make a spyglass. Anyway, as I was saying, we want to be able to get to the starter base because we want the um, various other outposts that we build to be in some kind of like relationship with that base because who knows maybe at some point we could build a road of some kind that connects them or set up caravan paths transfer things okay it is getting dark take a quick nap so that it's reasonably safe when we get up top. And now we're ready to get back up there. How are we doing on coal? Doing okay. I don't need all that rotten flesh, so maybe we'll go give that to the villagers again. I mean, we did kind of abuse our stay there. a little confused there. I thought for a moment, is this their path? Is this considered part of their village? I know why I couldn't find my way up. Because we use this. Okay, so, looks like that route This is the way, whoa Yeah, the compass is not supposed to lead us into the lava But if we follow the compass now, we should be able to get back to that starter base Let's see. And it feels good to actually have a shield again. We didn't give the villagers the rotten flesh, but I guess that's not important. But we have a shield again. Hold on a moment. Just thought I saw something. It's probably just a cave, but it was a dark spot over there, which made me think it was something in particular. So let's get closer and see what we can see.
where we have an easy means of getting food. We have a bucket so that we can save ourselves uh, in case of an emergency. And also so that we can handle just lava flows and in general. We have a compass now so that we won't get too lost like we did before. We have a bed. We have a boat. We're actually reasonably well equipped. Okay, it is just a cave. This does seem extremely large and dark, though. Looks like it might be a dripstone cave. I can see vague indications of that. I'm going to switch over to the stone pickaxe. Just because I don't want to use up my iron pickaxe that quickly. We're not really using pickaxes very much anyways. It's mostly just in order to create emergency paths or gather Actually, we mostly use it to gather stone for blocks on our hot bar and for stone tools. So, okay, it's looking like we're getting ready to veer more over to the right. What is Hold on a moment. Okay, it is a llama. I thought it was something else from this angle. Oh, it's a village up here. How are you guys doing? I promise I am not going to harass you the way I harassed your neighbors. Okay, so that is actually the west over there. So we're heading south. I decided to check the directions because... Oh, I was going to say your neighbors to the... And I was going to say south, and it turns out that's wrong. We, were, we came from the north. That is an enormous pit. Trying to see if there's any indication of, say, a mine shaft or anything, but I'm not able to look, see very well down there. I was just double checking to see if I had any feathers for some reason. Not for some reason I was checking, but rather if for some reason I had acquired feathers. Hmm. Going 
going through this little wooded area. I bet that uh, I'm going to have to go over the ocean. That just means that, uh, you know, that ver felt very, very familiar. I don't know why. Means we were pretty lost, though. We were not in anywhere in the area that I thought we were. Oh, no, that was not good. Okay, let's get our boat. And off we go, following our compass, trying to find home base. Sun is almost setting though, so we're going to make a little base, not a base camp. We're, we're not really going to make a, uh, a full camp, but we will just set down our bed somewhere and take a quick nap. Probably over there, that little portion of land there, the little hill. Looks like it's more savanna. Probably tomorrow we should stock up on food as well. Hmm. No, actually, we'll, we'll wait until we get to the base camp. I mean, I haven't needed the food for a little while. So there's no point in doing a bunch of fishing right away. I mean, if nothing else, we have tons of rotten flesh to eat. Okay, yeah, we are still going in the right direction, but let's uh, get over here. Plop down our bed for the night.